So now we'll try and solve this question using the shortcut. Now for shortcut, we'll find the value of m and the value of m simply will be n plus 1 and n plus 1 in this case is 2n plus 1 upon 1 plus mod of x. Now x in this case is 1, right? So 1 upon x and this value, it should give me the greatest term and this greatest term should be its middle term. So for this middle term, r equals 2n by 2 and there will be simply n. So its middle term will be t n plus 1. Now if this term is also the numerically greatest term, it should not be an integer n. The numerically greatest term will be given by t greatest in the function of m plus 1 and this t greater function of m plus 1 should be equals to t n plus 1. So from here I can say the value of greatest in the function of m it should be equals to n. Now greater function of m is equal to n. Now in that case the value of m should lie between n and n plus 1 and now because m is not an integer so I won't have this equality sign so I'll get this condition which is the value of m should lie between n and n plus 1. So here it is n. Now what is the value of m? Value of m simply will be 2n plus 1 upon 1 upon 1 plus x and it should be less than n plus 1. So if I take the reciprocal then the sign will reverse right. So I'll write 1 upon n should be greater than 1 plus 1 upon x should be greater than 2n plus 1 should be greater than 1 upon n plus 1. So I'll multiply 2n plus 1. So I'll write 2n plus 1 by n should be greater than 1 plus 1 upon x should be greater than 2n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Now I'll subtract 1 also. So if I'll subtract 1, I'll write n plus 1 upon n should be greater than 1 upon x and it should be greater than n upon n plus 1. Now I need to find the value of x. So again, I'll take the reciprocal and both the numbers, they are positive. So if I'll take the reciprocal, I'll write n upon n plus 1 is less than x is less than n plus 1 upon n. So we can solve it using traditional method and we can also solve it using shortcut method also. In this case, we have assumed m is not an integer considering that there is only one numerically greatest term and that one numerically greatest term will be its middle term. If I'll consider this m as an integer, then I'll end up having two separate values of 